Guys, in this video we are going to see how to do sequential search in an array in C++ programming. Now let's look at an example. For example, let's say we are going to have 10 elements in an array. Let's go ahead and create that array. Integer array and we are going to have 10 elements inside the array. So we put 10 right here and let's assign the elements. Let's say we are going to go from 0, I mean 1 to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, now we have 10 elements inside this array. Now what we have to do is we have to put a, like, a, to check whether we have an error or something like that. What we do is we, have, we will assign a negative number because user is not usually going to enter a negative number, right? So we can set a negative number here and integer i, i represent the index and also we are going to assign a negative number to check whether we have some error. So let's put negative one and then we are going to put n for the value that user is going to enter because user is going to enter some value and we, we, we want to figure out whether that value is in this inside of this this uh, array right and whatever the we call this one index like each of the my index this is zero index one index two index so we can also call this one index and uh, let's see so here we are going to see out first uh, we are going to give the user uh, statement like enter the number you want to see or something like that now let's see Let's create the C out statement. Enter the number that want to be found. That's a better word. Want to be found. Okay, now let's give the semicolon. And after that, user is going to enter a value. So we are going to put a C in statement, and this is going to be the input of the user, and that's going to be the N value. And after the user input a value, we have to check whether this, this the value is in the array. To check that one, we create a for loop, and that's going to go from zero, because zero index start from here, right? So this is zero, and it's going until nine, because if we have 10, zero to nine is basically nine, uh, 10, right? Because 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 0 to 9 is 10 actually. So we put 0 and i is less than 10 because 9 already made 10. So we put less than 10 and we do the increment by 1. So what does it do is this loop will like check each each uh, of this element inside the array one at a time like it goes through one check this one and if it's true it will give a statement and if it's not it goes to the next one next one next one so if this is exit we have to give a statement for, for example if the value the user input is existing in this array we, we are going to create if statement if array i is equal to n right i representing the index and if it's equal to n let's uh, that's gonna be we make that one equal to zero like if that equal to whatever the value the user entering if the if we if it find an equal value that's gonna make this c to equal to zero and we can say if c is not equal to zero if c is not equal to zero that means the user hasn't entered any value that existing right here right so we can uh, put the statement for this one if c is not equal to zero c out number is not found it's not found okay and then semicolon and then we are going to put L statement and if the C like if the C is not equal to zero number is not found but if C is equal to zero it means this is existing in this array so we have to put the statement for that one so that's why we create L statement else C out 
number is found in the index number is found in index index now let's see whether it works also we have to put a semicolon right here give it a run okay there are some errors let's see okay here we have expected before integer integer i c is equal to negative one comma <coughs> Oh, here I, I forgot to put a semicolon right here. Okay, let's see. Okay, now uh, let's see. Let's try, type the value that x is sitting right here. Let's say 1. Number is found in the index. Uh, let's try something that does, does not exist. Let's say 11. Number is not found, right? Because we only have 1 to 10. And this way it works, right? And uh, for example, let's say if you put one right here, this is a representing index. Index go from zero to this value. Like this is zero, one, two, three, four. And if you start this one from one, and if you enter uh, enter one here, that's not going to appear because that's index zero, right? That number is not found because we start from one. So that's why we put zero right here and that's almost it that's how we do the sequential search in arrays i hope this helps see you next time